Hi everyone. Um, my name is Abel Gray Katoba. Um, I'm from Greatest Design Console. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. You can call me on any of these numbers. Okay. Today I'm going to be showing you quickly uh, this very great uh, plugin called the YQ Arc. Uh, although I've talked about YQ Arc, you can check my YouTube channel. Just go down below the description of this video. You will find the link to the YouTube channel. Just go there and search for it. You'll find that uh, video on YQ Arc. Today I'm going to be showing you a very great tool. I will be showing you five great tools on YQ Arc uh, that will blow your mind. That can make your work way more easier and faster. So I'll be covering 50 different uh, tools but i'll be taking them bit by bit so today i'll be covering just five of them and then on the next video i will take five and like that till we finish all right so let's jump right into it the first tool i'm going to be showing you is the cv okay so if i type in my cv all i need to do is to highlight this object and i will specify the base point now if i move this way it's actually going to copy these files for me it works exactly just like the way the array tool actually works but it is way more better than the array tool okay so if I specify the distance of 10 meters for example and I press enter now you can see it's following as I'm moving my cursor I don't need to click so I will take that again so if I type in my CV and I press enter let's say I want to do that for this particular plan and then I'll press and then it's asking me to select base point let's say I want to pick here as my base point and I will specify 20 meters in order for me to have a proper spacing between them so if I specify 20 meters all I need to do is just to keep moving my cursor just drag and move I don't need to actually click so without any need for you to click you can see it's copying as you are moving so you can do similarly for this so if I type CV and I press enter if I highlight all of these objects all I need to do now is to specify my base point if I specify my base point or specify the distance if I like but if I don't want to do that I can just move my hand in this direction and you can see that it's actually following me so this is basically how to achieve all of that using your yq app okay so um what if you want to trim the whole of this drawing at the same time i can actually trim the whole of this drawing at the same time without coming to trim them one by one then how do i achieve that all i need to do is to type tx to be able to do that if i type tx and i press enter I will just highlight I will click on the first corner as this place and I'll click on the second corner here and boom you can see that uh, that trim is going to display you can see it's trimming it's trimming it's trimming so this is basically how to do your trimming automatically without you having to trim all of them one by one so um, I'm going to show you another great tool uh sorry about this this is so i'm going to show you uh the third uh tool that we can use here which is the auto dimension it can dimension the whole of this automatically at once okay or you can use it to dimension to know the length from here to here now we can achieve that so if I type DDSS and I press enter you can see from here I will specify uh, the settings so but I always like it to be as it is like this if I click on OK then it will ask me to select the object all I need to do is to highlight the object I want to dimension you can see it has generated the dimension for this automatically so similarly if I want to do this for that for if I want to do it for this all I need to do is just to highlight again and then I'll press enter you can see my dimension has been created there is another tool that is called the the auto level okay 
now to have an O2 level like what that means is to have an automatic level on this your drawings so uh, this is actually used mainly in the case of uh, your elevations so you can generate an automatic level here to do that all you need to do is to type in your BG okay to type in your BG if I type in my BG you can see it's giving me options S upside D own O for ori origin for original okay so um, I'll leave it at O in case your own is not showing you just type the O and it takes you to the original you pick a, an original point and if I click here now it's going to give me I will move my cursor this way in order to place it I can place another one here move my cursor this way place another one at this line move my cursor here and click place another one here I'll move my cursor and click I'll place another one here and move my cursor and click so you can do similarly for every level you want to achieve so this actually helps to uh, okay this is not at the point so I can simply just delete that okay so this is basically all you need to do when you want to achieve that then I'm going to show you another very great tool uh, called the BBL okay this can help us to generate um, it will generate a table for us listing uh, all the appliances that was used here it will generate them and list them and number them and it will list even our windows and number them and tell us how many doors and windows when you are doing your your doors your window schedules okay so it helps us to generate that automatically so if i type in bbl and i'll press enter so i will just highlight the entire these drawings and i'll press enter once i press enter it's telling me to pick up an insert point of the table so i will click on sort mode if i click on sort mode from this sort mode i can be able to select how i want to sort this uh table so i will just leave it as it is and i will click on ok so i'll find a place around here and i drop it so if you look at this you will see uh the number of your doors here uh this is the main door which is telling you that is one then the other doors door three uh we have three we have another door here it's in number we have your your sink we have a bath stop which is just one it's telling you you have the water closet here it's telling you three so this is basically what this tool actually help you to achieve okay right so on the next episode i'm going to take you uh through the next five set of uh, tools that you can actually use in your yq app okay so i'll see you in the next episode if you love what you are seeing make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification okay all right make sure you stay safe and stay blessed